Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Aqua Gaming back here with another one. In today's video, me and my squad, Kayla, Yuna, and Sky, also got a nice video for you guys today. It is going to be the Vector versus P19. The last one I did was level 60 weapons video, and I did the Vector versus P19. But the great thing about this one, guys, is that they're two both gold ones so that you guys actually get to see which one's better rather than me just doing a gold versus a blue one. More further ado, though, let's hop right into this video. Now, specifically right off the bat, the vector itself, you have to have really good control with the um, little recoil that it actually has to offer. The vector spits so much recoil out, man. Like, it's really hard for me to play uh, with the vector because I turn my sensitivity up. I'm trying to get used to playing, like really high sensitivity on the mobile because i see people on pc doing it and they can hit all their shots but i get that you have to play on low sensitivity at first so maybe that's why i wasn't able to hit my shots most of the times but just a heads up you guys are going to want to be able to control the recoil of the vector but with that being said it's a really good gun i was complaining that i couldn't hit my shots it's a bad gun all of this just a bunch of excuses i made along the way just because i couldn't just accept the fact that i was bad with the gun when you try out new guns, don't uh, you know? Don't think that you're gonna be the best person with the gun just because you. Oh my god, it's a great gun. You have to get used to it. You gotta know how it works. Like with this vector here, guys. I'm gonna put right there on the screen. Um, put the skill set. Like the vector itself has a skill strength skill set. So if you're not running the skill strength skill set with the vector, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to maximize the power of the gun itself. Now, I will be switching between guns, mainly just showcasing them though, guys. But um, so this P19 though is really crazy. I'll show you guys the skill set in the aeronautical base clip that I do have later on in the video. Shout out to Action Base, man. That's my homie. And I'm so fucking glad that we actually for once got matched up on Aero Base together, man. That's something I've been waiting for. That's been my homie since, you know, I started YouTube and since I started this game as well. So yeah, man, I, I got really excited about that. Stay tuned for a little bit more, like two more minutes into the video and you guys will see us crush some shit in aeronautical base. But as you see with this P19, you see how fast this thing shoots. It has so much bullets in it. If you're running the shield gun, the action base actually recommended to me for a submachine gun because I hit him up and I was asking him what's the best heavy gun to run with the submachine gun. And he was actually saying use a shield gun or use a grenade launcher. And it makes a lot of sense because the shield gun, you get to actually cover behind the shield itself while using the submachine gun, or whichever one that you may choose, just because they deliver so much bullets at the same time while you're covering with the shield. Now watch this. Shout out to Sky because Sky got every single one of these guys down for me basically. And I just came in here and I just utilized the fast spreading shooting of the p19 and which actually helped us be able to win this game now honestly even with sky being so low i feel like he would have clutched this up i mean they were so low to be honest with you unless one would have just ran away and healed but they were way too three tapped for him just to die hey i'd be hyped if i were you too sky good game buddy now i hope you guys are ready to see how we dominated on this aeronautical base and also showcase this p19 this is why the p19 is my favorite submachine gun now right here, I'm going to be putting the skills for the P19 on screen right now. And as you guys see, it says here that the range advantage level 3 increases damage by 18.5% for 3.5 seconds when hitting targets within 25 meters. This is when I just recognized action base was in my game. I was so fucking happy, dude. But yeah, but what that means is self-explanatory. You guys get 25 meters within the person. Then you guys are going to be doing 18.5% more damage. And that's pretty crazy to think about. That's almost 25% more damage than the gun already does. This gun specifically, as it says, it's 176 base damage. Then I just went the little extra mile for you guys. And I just calculated how much more damage it would be doing. And that comes down to a total of 9.4 extra damage it does. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but you guys have to factor in this P19 shoots so damn fast. So 9.4 damage every single shot is actually really good. Because if you're thinking of it like that type of statistic, if you're getting 9 damage every single shot basically, or not just 9 damage overall, and you got 70 bullets in your gun, that's so much more damage that you're going to be doing just regular 176. You're going to be doing around 184 type of damage, you know? So that really comes in handy if you're going to be loading your whole entire clip into your opponent. And it also at the same time comes down to actually breaking the vector and base damage just with the skill set now with the vector what i forgot to mention earlier but you guys could have seen it on the skill set trait thing that i showed you guys it actually has skill strength damage too so that comes in handy for like flamethrowers that comes in handy for foam bombs it even comes in handy for your drone itself too so you factor in what type of strategies would you guys like to use for these types of guns 
and also like i said again it's overall just you getting used to the guns like right here this is you know she was just standing still but as you guys see i was getting like 98 base damage from the gun but when i hit the critical hit it was actually doing 192 so i could have got my math wrong but i did calculate it i don't know if it's every single bullet it does 9.4 extra damage or if it's overall but just know that the extra damage is there and it's 9.4 extra damage that you're doing with the p19 now, if you guys do love these videos and love the series that I am coming out with, smash that like button. Also, comment just so I know that you guys love it. You know, I love doing these series. It's really fun. And I just hope to keep doing more videos that are more like this one. But thanks, guys, for coming along. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed and did learn something. Hopefully, you guys found out which guns that you guys did like better. But I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys. Let's get this to 1,000 subscribers. We are so close, guys. Let's break 50 likes on this as well. I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next one.